part of our story uh, in agriculture is who is in agriculture, right? And that diversity is so important. And, and we get a chance to see the women who are playing such a critical role, uh, not just on the landscape, but from our classrooms to the boardroom. These women are leading, leading agriculture. They've got a vision for Pennsylvania. They see the opportunities that we see, uh, and they're just so instrumental to the diversity, but also the direction of the industry uh, we call agriculture that we're proud of and we celebrate uh, during this farm show. So cultivating tomorrow really is about the roots of what we do, but it's also about the women uh, who are making that happen in Pennsylvania. It's kind of fun to be able to be like, no, this is my business. I own it. I operate it. I'm delegating. Um, it's very empowering. And the, the labor is fun. I like that. Um, it's a lot different than where I saw myself 10 years ago, and I'm really happy to have made this like leap. My background is in anthropology. And I'm really interested in seeing how food brings people together and builds community and how those systems work. Uh, so while I've worked on farms, I am by no means a farmer and my talents are really best served in working on some of those bigger system uh, challenges that we're facing here in the Lehigh Valley and the nation. While my hands aren't in the dirt, I'm still looking to see how do we grow the agriculture system as a whole um, how do we create demand for more product and how do we assist farmers in selling that product? My husband had volunteered at this organic farm in Massachusetts that was a CSA and I actually went and volunteered with him for a couple weeks and I thought it was great and I was like maybe I'll just go work on a farm for a year and then I'll find my real job. <laughs> but that ended up, I just never stopped farming after that. Farming is actually a really complex job. There's so many different things that you have to be good at, so many things you have to be able to organize, and um, more than people realize. We were trained as apprentices, so it was like part of our mission to carry that forward and train other young people who really want to get involved in this type line of work. Because you really can't learn it without working on a farm. I mean, you can go to classes, you can go to workshops, but there's no replacement for the experience that you gain working under a skilled farmer.